If you want to take something from the bag, you can tell here. This is stuck, okay? Okay, yes. So in the Gobi Desert, we're going to learn a term. Whoa. That's like an elevator. Ready? So, welcome back to the Gobi Desert. In the middle of the action, we're gonna ride some camels. It looks high, it looks wobbly, well it's the perfect combination for a great day in the desert. So far, so good, I would say. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Better than what I was expecting. Yeah, I thought it would be more bumpy, but it's all right. I can probably go very fast. Yeah, now. yeah you can. So we're taking a one hour camel trip through the desert. 12 people, 12 camels. Pretty good. Updates from the back of the group. I've been spending the last half hour or so staring at camel asses and riding my new wobbly friend. I'm calling Beatrice because she's obviously a woman. She has to big hum, so it has to be. So far, not really slow on the camel riding. It is very, very calm. And the camel likes, next to me likes to take a shit, so. <laughs> but you have the great views of the sand dunes in the desert, and that makes it well worth it. She's not the most obedient camel. No? No. Oh, mine was like really relaxed. I think, that, I think they put the good ones in the front and the not so obedient ones in the back. It's interesting. Like this one? <laughs> Walking hurts, or is that just me? <laughs> I think your camel's broken. So, how was the camel trekking? How was your camel? That was pretty cool. I had the. Uh... Apparently I had the most beautiful one, I had a white one and they are considered as the most beautiful one, more special. And they are also a lot more exp like expensive, they explained to me, so mm. it was a really nice one. She was very nice, um, very calm, relaxed. How was yours? Beatrice was not so obedient. Um, whenever we would be, we were at the back of the group and I know why they put us at the back of the group, because I didn't have the best camel. Every time we would like come over a small hill or a bump or something in the road, she would start running really? across it. Yes, she ran. <laughs> she really yeah. ran. I'm not entirely sure if the things they have in their nose are so animal friendly though, because it looks a little bit sad. Yeah, it looks like it's not, it's not very nice to the camel. But maybe it's like in a soft part of the nose where it doesn't really hurt them that much, I don't know. And it's also what they use to control the camel. So you have one camel that goes in front and all the other ones are just walking a little bit more behind, a little bit more behind. And these cords are tied to the saddle of the person in front of them. So they can't really run off because this will tear at their nose. But I think they have a pretty good life here. They can roam the desert. I think in general they're pretty well treated. I think they look... They look pretty healthy. There are actually beauty pageants for camels in the Gobi Desert. I have no idea what they rate them on because, I mean, come on, it's probably about the lushness of the fur and the, the fullness of the bump and the horrible, horrible smile. That, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> um, she, uh, you. You insulted her. Yeah, she's pretty and she knows it. I mean, she's getting pretentious. Yeah. For lunch, apparently we are having the goat that they Slaughtered yesterday. We're gonna watch them cook it now. So they're cooking a traditional Mongolian barbecue or hot pot as they call it. They first take a layer of stones, layer of meat, the goat, Patrick, that uh, slaughtered yesterday. Stones, meat, stones, meat, till it's almost full. And then at the end they put some onions, some spices, uh, some potatoes and carrots, I guess. And then I think what they put over it, some kind of dough, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, we'll find out later. Nice food! Mm. Looks good, but I have a vegetarian meal, so I'm not gonna try it. You can eat, you can eat. It does look good. In Japan, vegetarian is against the law. It's really good. Goat meat. Oh. We drove for like 15 minutes. We're going to hike up the highest dune here. What are the name of these dunes, actually? It's the Congreen Els sand dunes. Congreen Els sand dunes. It's a 180 kilometer long sand dune, so it's pretty impressive. And this is one of the highest parts uh, around the area where we are. 
it's more than 200 meters high, so we're going to hike up there. And we're not wearing any shoes because apparently it's better to do it bare feet. It's going to be a long way up. So how's it going? I'm dead. I can't wait until we get to the top for some reason. This is really killing me. Beautiful. It's tough, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's amazing, but it's very, very beautiful. We made it to the top of the sand dune. The last part was pretty steep, and then you had no grip whatsoever, so we just kept sinking away into I, the sand. I actually saw someone going up on all fours. Yeah? Yeah, she put her hands in her shoes and she was going up on all fours. <laughs> That's pretty cool. She, was, she was quicker than me. You have like the, the sand dunes and all these lovely S-shaped curves in them. And yeah, that's really beautiful. It's like very soft, smooth sand, so it's like really beautiful. So we're going to watch sunset here. Sun's already going down a bit. I think it'll be still be like half an hour for the sunsets. What do you think? It's time for some drone shots? I think so. Okay, let's get the drone out. How the color of the sand is completely different now that the sun is mostly gone. It was like this golden hue and now it's more like a pinkish purple. We're gonna head back that way, walk all the way from here, all the way over there, back to where we came from, join the caravan and go down. Time to start going down. It was the most beautiful <laughs> desert landscape I've ever seen. We had an extremely nice sunset. Some of the group is sliding down, but we're just taking the normal route. I think it'll be a lot faster than up. I hope so. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> yes, woo! Got, I got stuck there. It's a lot of fun going down. You can like really jump and run and you can make a lot of speed. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Show off. Yeah. Let's go. We're getting ready to leave this camp. We're getting to leave the desert. Uh, not so, leave the desert. Not leave the desert, but like leave the sand dunes here yeah. behind us. Yeah. And today we are going to drive to the canyons. One of the very deep canyons. It's supposed to be very beautiful. Uh, you can hike all the way through it, which is what we're going to do. We really had a blast here in this camp, going to the dunes, uh, riding the camels. My oh, butt, we had a great my time. butt is still a bit sore though. Yeah, camel riding not great for the butt. No, camel riding. You use these muscles that you never ever use. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, leave a like. No, if you like this video, please leave a like. Leave a comment uh, if you have some questions or you have some more information about Mongolia. Or if you have tips, or if you have tips for China, because we have to start planning for oh, our China yeah. trip and we don't have that much um, inspiration yet. So yeah. if you've been to China and you know something good, leave it below. And, and if you want to follow our journey from Belgium to Beijing, and afterwards we will continue overland for our, at least uh, through China. Please uh, subscribe so you can follow our adventures. Button. See you in the next one. Bye.